My name is Andrew, and Peter Kenneth is my dad. Today, I want to introduce to you my father, a man I greatly love, respect, and admire, the pillar of our family, and my greatest role model. Many of you know him as the Member of Parliament for Katanga. I know him as the man who has always tried to make time for my sister Andrea and I, a man who would even come home from work to play football and basketball with me even still in his work clothes. <laughs> a man kind and generous to all. A man who has even maintained the same public mobile number since even before getting elected. Sometimes when I read the news or I see dad busy traveling all across this great country, I'm surprised he always tried to make time to attend functions at school. Even one time, when I probably wished he hadn't, <laughs> he noticed I hadn't combed my hair. And so right there in front of everybody, he pulled his comb out of his pocket, and he combed my hair, and he said, yeah. Now you look much better, Papa. <laughs> Let's just say I've never forgotten to comb my hair again. <laughs> As a boy, I would sit and listen to stories of dad growing up. He was raised by a strict, single, loving mother in Eastlands, who despite not having much, always insisted on the values of being God-fearing, working hard, studying hard, being kind to all, and taking self-responsibility. She was so proud of him when he got admitted to Stareha Boys Center, a feat he always reminds us of. Dad has raised us with the same values, in that no matter what people say or write about him, he has been a great example that he doesn't badmouth them, and he expects the same from us. My father has never forgotten our roots, and he has always reminded us that we must strive to help the less fortunate, stand up for justice, and that no matter our ethnicities, we are all Kenyans first. I think, thank you. I think that we all need each other and that our best days as a country are when we stand united. Personally, I love sports. And when I see us united and cheering on David Rudisha, the Harambe Stars, the Dunford Brothers, my belief of my father's dream of a peaceful, united country is reignited. My father always says that the youth of this country are our greatest resource. And wherever he travels across this great country, he always comes back with remarkable stories of what the young people are doing despite their difficult situations. He speaks so passionately about improving the lives of young Kenyans, like my sister Andrea and myself. I know that he will make sure that his generation bequeaths a prospering nation to the youth of Kenya. I know my father will make a great president. He will always be there. <laughs> He will always be there for the youth of Kenya, like he has always been there for me. And when he is president, I will always remind him of the promise to create jobs, develop talent, and incorporate the youth of Kenya into running this great nation. <laughs> My dad, lastly, has always been a man of his word. And it's apparent in his track record, something we should all think about. And if we stand together on March 4th, 2013, we will be turning a new chapter in this great country.
one that provides equal opportunity for all, regardless of your ethnic background. I know he will always be there for this country, like he has always been there for me. I love you, Dad, and God bless Kenya. Thank you. Thank you.